so perplexity can now connect to your gmail account and the implication is quite interesting because now you can use perplexity to drop a message and even send that message into a person but everything can be done directly in perplexity which is very useful and you can just send a command and perplexity will do the rest but before you can do that you have to connect your perplexity and gmail account together and here's how you can do it so let's navigate to perplexity.ai and by the way right now this feature or the menu to access the connection between gmail and perplexity can only be seen if you're using the desktop or web version of perplexity so i think it's not accessible in the mobile and therefore make sure that you're using the desktop or web version now you can click your account and then go to connectors and here there's the option for gmail for calendar and yes we have to include calendar because gmail and calendar are working together so it makes sense that we have to combine these two services into one connection now just click enable and then select your google account and there you go so this is just the information about the email address and also the name of the account that perplexity needs to be able to connect to your account so just click continue and later you can see all the things that perplexity connector might need access to for smoother experience so i do recommend to check all of them because it, this will enable a few things like you can let perplexity to see your email or maybe add or create a new event or maybe uh, read a message on or create a message and even send that message uh, on your gmail account so again i do recommend to uh, check all of them but feel free to select a few things that you think are the most important and you can ignore the other now just click continue and now the two accounts perplexity and gmail have been connected and let me show you how you can use this new capability in perplexity let's go to perplexity and i'll start a new conversation and here for this quick demonstration I have this email that I received from Grok, not the x.com Grok. This is the other version of Grok. And apparently they have a new update on their website. And I think this is a great opportunity to actually use Perplexity because Perplexity is very good at doing a research. So let's go back to Perplexity and I will send this message. Hey, can you check my email, especially the email from Grok? And apparently there is a new update, but can you tell me what are the new updates on their website and also just summarize all the points into concise bullet points okay i have to verify i have to clarify this is not the grog x.com this is the other grog with q at the end and yeah this is just my message and just send that to perplexity and it will know that you want to get some information or at least a part of the information is available in the gmail account so it needs to access your emails and therefore can give you the most relevant and up-to-date and most accurate information so it does its research and yes all right so this is the answer and the update is really just some privacy maybe some you know some new settings or uh, terms in the website not really important but yeah it is something that you can do now how about sending a message but via perplexity can you do it well yes you can do it but it is kind of hit and miss at least at the moment because i have done the testing and sometimes it is able to do so but sometimes it wasn't able to send a message but i'm going to do one more demonstration and hopefully we can actually get one message to be sent so let's start a new thread again on perplexity and okay i just want to send a message to myself hey please compose a welcome message and send it to my email address and by the way i do recommend to specify that it is gmail so that's one thing that i noticed that if you don't say gmail there is a good chance that it might not be able to do the task do the thing that you requested so i guess i'm going to change it to gmail and just wait and hopefully we have a good or positive result yeah this will take quite some time and sometimes it is actually going to uh, ask you about hey what emails that you want to send a message to or what the other things that uh, you might want to include in the message so there you go 
Okay, this is a good sign. So perfect. I've successfully composed and, and, and sent a welcome message to your Gmail address. And I guess let me see my Gmail and let's see if we actually got something. Oh yeah, that's that's true. So this is the welcome message that was created by Perplexity. It was sent from and to my email address. Yeah, basically you can do it. You can create or compose an email and then send that using Perplexity. So that's how you can connect your Perplexity with your Gmail account and maybe a few things or a few demonstrations that you can do with it. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.